a very good evening today's class we would be starting with the topic called as a hinzberg's test this test is as a chemical test for 1 degree 2 degree and 3 degree amines those of you who have a problem to identify amines amines are nothing but ammonia डेरीवेटिवस इसका क्या मतलब ये रहा अमोनिया हाइड्रोजन हटा के आर ग्रुप डाल दो तो क्या हो जाएगा आर एन एच टू एक और हाइड्रोजन हटा के आर ग्रुप डाल दो तो दो आर लग गए एन एच अभी तो एक और एच है एक और हाइड्रोजन हटाकर आर ग्रुप डाल दो so you have this this one r group attached as primary amine do r group lage hote hain to secondary amine they may be same they may be different aur teen r group lage hote hain to it is called tertiary amine fine now coming to the chemical test how to distinguish between the three the name of the test is hinzberg's test and we required something called as a hinzberg reagent the hinzberg reagent has a formula like this which is also called as benzene sulfonyl chloride opening up this structure this looks like this is the formula for your benzene sulfonyl chloride now we would be adding this benzene sulfonyl chloride to each of them the agenda is in this benzene sulfonyl for those of you who are interested in the mechanism i'll just give you a brief mechanism for it otherwise you don't require the mechanism because we are only going to do the chemical test oxygen electron pull karega ye bhi electron pull karega cl bhi electron pull karega to sulfur electron deficient ho gaya agar sulfur electron deficient ho gaya aur ye raha tumhara primary amine all right aur ye raha lone pair of electrons so this nitrogen goes and attacks onto sulfur in all the three tino mein nitrogen ke paas lone pair to hai theek hai tino mein it will go and attack the sulfur of the hinzbergs reagent to nateeja kya hoga ye ra sulfur yahan par you have your n which has two hydrogens and one r it gets a positive charge cl has to leave which is the reason that it gets a negative charge you have a double bond o a double bond ho iski valency satisfy ho gayi yahan se cl minus ja chuka tabhi to ye aayega koi attack thodi karega sulfur ke maximum bonds were six of course it has a d orbital so temporarily it can form an identity like this because of the presence of d orbital beyond this this cl would leave and this h positive would leave so the hcl is what is left and you get a product in all the cases so what is the requirement that amine should have an h to be lost to yahan par hai h yes yahan par hai h yes yahan par hai h no to ye to react nahi karega kyunki iske paas h to lose karne ko hai hi nahi so your hinzberg's test may reaction happens with this this but not with this is what we would see now let us take the benzene sulfonyl chloride and reacted with your primary amine this is your rnh2 i have deliberately written it in reverse order so that you can easily understand the reaction primary amine dala h and cl is lost as i just explained what would you end up in benzene so2 n with an h and an r group this is called as a sulfon amide amide hota kya hai nh with a co ये एन एच विद एस ओ है तो इट इज कॉल्ड सल्फोनामाइड यू कैन ऑल्सो कॉल इट एज एन एल्काइल बेंजीन सल्फोनामाइड तो ये एन पर एल्काइल लगा हुआ है बेंजीन तो है ही सल्फोनामाइड इज द नेम ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर प्रोडक्ट फाइन नाउ आफ्टर दिस यू एड टू दिस योर एक्वस के ओ एच अब ध्यान से देखो KOH is a base and this is an acidic identity kaise 
this pulls the electron this pulls the electron this pulls the electron this pulls the electron so your H positive can be lost and this results in benzene SO2 N may say H gaya positive K ka OH combined hua to byproduct water and you have a K positive and N minus. This identity is a potassium salt of N alkyl benzene sulfonamide. Agar ye potassium salt hai, isi liye this would become soluble. This was a white solid or and it becomes soluble. To pehle ek solid product bant hai, which then dissolves in aqueous KOH if you have a primary amine. Coming to secondary amine. Benzene sulfonamide, so, sorry, benzene sulfonyl chloride, I add to a secondary amine. Secondary amine kya hota hai? Nitrogen having two R groups. What will the reaction be? As I had explained, H will take away the Cl. You have a minus HCl happening. What do you end up in? Benzene, double bond O, double bond O, N, R and R. Fine. Ab beta, yahaan par to koi H hai nahi. Agar H hai nahi, so there won't be any salt formation. So even if you add aqueous KOH, it remains insoluble because there is no salt formation. Fine. Moving to the last. This was with 2 degree amines. And moving to the third. Your benzene sulfonyl chloride reacts with a 3 degree amine. What was the agenda? H or Cl nikal na? Cl to yahan par hai. H to hai nahi. Yani there is no solid formed. Yahan pe you would get a white solid formed. Here you would get white solid form soluble in KOH. So the agenda is if you have 1 degree, 2 degree and 3 degree amines, you add benzene sulfonyl chloride to the three of them. You get a white PPT in case of 1 and 2 and no PPT in case of 3 degree. After that, you add aqueous KOH, you would find 1 degree gets soluble and it can be separated off, while the 2 degree remains in the water. This can be understood like this. If you have a mixture of 1 degree, 2 degree, 3 degree amines with you, you can easily separate it by using the Hinsberg's reagent. So you add C6H5SO2Cl to it. Take it. You add it in excess that it reacts with all of them. After adding this, you also filter it. Filter karne par do cheese milengi. Ek milega filter it, which will pass the filter paper, or ek milega residue. Take it. Ab isme kya hoga? Out of this, this and this, which does not react? 3 degree. So in the filter rate, you will get your 3 degree amine to alag ho gaya. Thik hai? Or residue mein kya hoga? 1 degree and 2 degree ka sulfonamide ban jayega. Fine. Uske baad, add aqueous KOH to the mixture of the sulfonamides of 1 degree and 2 degree. Aqueous KOH se kaun react kar jayega? 1 degree. Because 1 degree, as we just did, had a tendency to form the potassium salt. So, KOH may con dissolve ho jayega? 1 degree. Hence, we have aqueous KOH dalne se, you again will filter after that. Thikha? You will get a filter rate and a residue. Residue is what is left on the filter paper. So, Aqueous KOH dalne se kaun si cheese dissolve ho jate? 1 degree. So your 1 degree gets here or residue insoluble kaun raha jata? 2 degree. So this is the way to separate 1 degree, 2 degree and 3 degree amines if you have a mixture of the 3. Of course, uske baad sulfonamide ko hydrolyze karke you will have to get back your amines because in this case to you get your amine. In these two you will get your sulfonamides. In this case you will get your salt of potassium. That can be later on treated to give you back the amine.
fine with this we end the class over and out so we finished the second topic of amines that was how to test for amines chemical test and to distinguish or to separate the mixture fine thank you keep watching the channel keep liking it and sharing it with your friends thanks a ton kids